And then you have to go, wait a minute, I'm renewing my mind. And then you claim your victory. And you claim how you want your day to be if you're smart. Okay, you don't waste your time. I'm asking you to step out of your emotions and call your victory. Because you can. In the Bible, Genesis 1, 1. The Spirit of the Lord moved over the void and spoke and created the world. Honestly, we create our world by what we speak. And our words are stronger than the devil or negative forces. All right. and so anytime you feel, I mean, some of you are getting scary health reports or a marriage is breaking up or money can be tight. All right? You claim your victory. There's one person on the secret, I forget, doctor somebody, but he says over a thousand times a day, I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continual basis. Jack Canfield. Huh? Jack Canfield. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? So say something like that over and over and over instead of rattling what the problem is because that is calling in your victory. And that is how powerful our mind is. We didn't know if we were going to have any turnout tonight. You know, we just put it out there. Hello, how many of you want to shift into the new year? And look, we have a house full of people who want to shift. I guarantee you, you all went through a rebirthing pro process before you got here. What does that mean, rebirthing? Resistance. Yes. I don't think I want to go. I don't feel good. My neighbor needs me. My clients needed me so much today. I was so busy. I was trying to get my hair done so I could look pretty for some pictures. <laughs> clients from New York are calling. <laughs> I have to, no, you can't have me now. So it was afterwards, so there was no time to rest. That was my story. You all have a story. You know, but then some of you got it either yesterday or today. I'm going no matter what. How many of you got it that way? I'm going. Oh, yeah. I'm going. This is my time. You are the winners. You are the winners. You bypassed your block. Now, what I wrote in the promo is some of you are frightened, and some of you are in, I don't know what to do. I don't know is a choice to lose. Passive aggressive is a choice to lose as you're going into 2012. So maybe you don't know about your big picture. Maybe you don't have an answers yet to something. What do you know? What do you like? What makes your heart sing? <clears throat> do you want to be a writer? Do you want to have a radio show? I know I'm going to have another radio show again soon. I've had three. God gave me the gift of being able to write, host, and produce my own radio shows with no radio background, right? but with a mind that said, I don't listen to that boring stuff anymore. Hello, how many times can we hear the same report over and over and over? Let's do something good and different and nourish the world and have empowering, empowering feedback. How many of you were here like 10 or 15 years ago when we had that winning network radio station and you could put it on all day long with motivational speakers that you, we so, where is, don't we, we need that more now than ever before because the economy is so weird. What do they tell us? If Greece goes, if Italy goes, our economy goes, crash. What our government is doing is the strangest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I hope we have some smart people with some money to get to run the government and have a brain because we're here just watching what our government has done aghast. Those of you who have families, children, grandchildren, I have all that. They're going to have to pay the price for this stupidity. It's time for us to speak up and face our truth. Okay, that's kind of a lead-in. I'm going to tell you just a couple of different stories of things that happened to me because I was ready to take a chance. And, and, and really, this isn't about me, but it's only it's an, an example. Okay, but before I do that, I would like you to take a moment to just think about what is one thing you would really, really like to do this year. Close your eyes for a minute. 
and it'll come up for you. What one thing that you really, really like to do this year? And if you have three or four, choose the first one. Choose the one. A lot of you should have something that you've always wanted to do. It's your passion. Okay, hold on to that because that's going to be your goal this year. Okay, and it is achievable. Let me tell you a Victor story. Not me, somebody else. A good friend of mine who was a uh, ballet dancer for Balanchine for 14 years. His protege. And then he became Balanchine's photographer, world famous dance photographer. Now, a few years ago, he went back to New York. When we are going through this process of I don't know what to do and losing a lot, a lot of times we'll go back to where we were born or where we can start over. And that's good. It's almost like a circle of life. All right, go back. But then you find out there is no going back. So three years ago, he was in New York, and people didn't want any part of him. And he was trying to rebuild his life again. And all this while, I was saying to him, because we're prayer buddies, so we talk to each other about every day or every other day, support each other in prayer. We're unity people, you know, so we're prayer buddies. And, and I would say to him, Stephen, I see a documentary. I see you doing a documentary on you. He said, I can't imagine. I can't even imagine. I can't even get a job. I said, I don't care. Yeah, the, I, I may have an intuitive mind, I have a random mind, I'm way out there. I, I get my information from God. I see a documentary. So he just finished his documentary. Yay! <laughs> All right, he just finished it. Two years in the making, course of court. It cost a quarter of a million dollars to make that documentary. All the money was raised. And I've seen it, and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. did it? Yeah. It's just beautiful. And it's so real, and it's alive. Well, he was asking me the other day, he said, California wants us to do a virtual version of what it would be on um, public broadcasting. So we started talking about New York. And this is where it comes from. This is where he was with Balanchine. And this is where a lot of his artwork. I said, Stephen, why don't you go to New York? You're going to pay for California? Why don't you do it in New York? He said, I don't know who to get in touch with. I said, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I'm saying that to you. You know your next step. You know how to get there. You're just not pushing the envelope. I said, you know somebody who knows somebody who can get you into the head of the station to see if they will at least view your documentary. It took him one day, not even a day, a half a day. He called a woman who wrote, who is a famous writer who, who did the um, quintessential story on uh, Jerome Robbins, right? And so Stephen, their good friends, told her what she wanted. She wrote the station, by the way, by the way, they're going to view. One day. And that's how fast things can happen to you. Miracles can happen now. The last few years, actually the last 10 years have been a bitch. Excuse me, French. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, adjust and be brave and move on and think you're going to have success and then let go and start all over again and lose your money and, you know, be brave. <laughs> <laughs>